and happy new year to you. I am so excited because I am finally able to sit down and talk to you about my favorite wigs from 2018. And the great thing is that I won't be um, disturbed by my dog Chippy because he's at doggy daycare today. So I don't have to worry about him eating any blankets. But anyway, I wanted to touch base on why this group of 10 wigs is my all-time favorite. I'm doing this in two parts. Now, this particular video that I'm doing is for what I call the bridge wigs, and they fall in between budget wigs and super duper expensive wigs. I will not be reviewing really expensive wigs because they are just not in my budget. So the wigs that I do review are budget and what I call bridge wigs. I call them bridge wigs because they fill the bridge between the budget and the very, very expensive um, wigs. Um, it's kind of like when I was working at Nordstrom and we did have bridge bags, which filled that void between high end designer and um, your more affordable purses. And I like that terminology. So today I am not reviewing, but I'm giving you my opinions of my favorite bridge wigs of 2018. I think every single one of these wigs is a great choice for the mature woman. Some of the wigs are longer than others, but they're not so long that they're going to drag your face down. And at this point in our pro-aging journey, our mission is to look a little more youthful. Granted, um, nothing's gonna take the wrinkles away except plastic surgery, but a good haircut can do wonders and so can a good wig. Now let's get to the meat of this. This is Jameson. I can't begin to tell you how much I love this classic Bob. She is hands down the best wig of 2018. I cannot begin to tell you how many times I've worn her. She is appropriate for the office. She's appropriate for going out and about if you're getting groceries. She's appropriate for a special occasion. And I honestly think I may be wearing this to my daughter's wedding. Naturally, I'll get a new one because she'll want me in brand new hair. But I am a fan of this color. This is 12R26H. I'll write, I'll write the correct color down in the description. But if there is one bob, that you want, it's Jameson, simply because she's a classic bob. There's no long angles, no short in the back. She's just an incredible, 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 incredible head of hair. I have her in four different shades. I love every single one of them. I think she looks very natural. The parting space is great. The, the lace front is undetectable. I mean, there is nothing about this wig that you can't love. Honestly, I mean, I've got a very square face and she's very flattering to me. So that's it for Jameson. I honestly think if you are new to wigs or if you've been wearing wigs for a long time and you're looking for a bob, Jameson is the one. I really, really believe that every wig collector or every wig wearer should have a Jameson or three in her collection. So that's it for Jameson. I'll be right back with another head of hair. Okay, next up, and um, these are in no particular order of my favoritism. It's just that they're all in a pile. So whatever is next in the pile, I'm picking up. Anyway, 
Next up is Isla. That's I-S-L-A. And she is from Tony of Beverly. Now, if you are looking for a short wig, but not close cropped or matronly, Isla is a great, great wig. She looks nothing in real life as she does on the stock card. I love Tony of Beverly, but the stock card for Isla is just so out of proportion to how great this wig really looks. This color is rooted sandstone. So if you want a more natural look as far as the shade goes and the roots, this has a dark root and then comes out to like a frosted blonde color. The layers are shorter and face framing. And I think for a lot of women who do prefer a shorter look, this is a, this is a great wig. This is a great wig. She's short, she's sassy, and she's got a little bit of an edge, which makes her very, very, very appropriate. And I, I don't know if appropriate is the word, but I think it would make her very appealing to the mature woman who does want a little bit of an edge or a little sassy shortcut. I think Isla is definitely on trend and on point, and I am glad that I purchased her during 2018. I think she is a great buy. She's affordable in the bridge, um, in the bridge group of wigs because I believe she cost me $162, but I've had her for over six months, and she's showing no sign of wear and tear. She's just getting better with age. So that's it. Isla, Pony of Beverly, Rooted Sandstone, and I will be right back with another one. Hi, I'm back. And this time I'm in Hayden. This is a layered bob by Henry Margu. And let me tell you something. This Past year, 2018, was the year that I was introduced to Henry Margu. This company, I don't know how they do it, but they have the greatest blended colors. This color, I believe, is 7H. I'm really bad with my color memory, um, but I do believe it's 7H. Look. Look at how it's blended. It's a brown base with golden highlights but the golden highlights are so subtle. They're not in your face. I mean, it looks like you just walked out of the salon. And I like the choppiness and I like the kind of like, I don't wanna say messy, but maybe unkempt is the better word to use. I don't like perfect. Unless I'm describing something, like I think these wigs that I love from 2018, are perfect choices, but they're not perfectly coiffed, which actually, when they're not perfectly coiffed, it makes them look a little bit more natural or actually a lot more natural. But anyway, this is a great bob. The fibers are wonderful in this because she's not shiny. Um, she's on the Duller side, which I think is another thing. If you have bio hair that isn't shiny, this is the kind of wig that you want because it's going to mimic the natural texture of your bio hair. I mean, who doesn't want that? But I would also say that this is another choice for a mature woman who wants a bob with a bit of an edge. This is a fun, 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 fun wig. I've worn Hayden to the office quite often, and I always get a lot of compliments because people really do love this cut and style. She does remind me a lot of another wig that I'm going to be showcasing for 2018, but I have to say, this Hayden is a really, really great wig, and she's one of my favorites from last year. And it just, it sounds really weird to say last year because we're really not that far into the new year. But I like this wig for another reason as well. When you go with a wig that's this length, this kind of bob chin length, 
you're talking about a wig that's going to lend itself well to all seasons. Because as I've stated before in other reviews and on my blog, you can wear a wig this length with the heaviest textured clothing and you're not going to get any matting at the bottom of the wig. Plus, this wig, even though nicely dense, it's also a great wig for the summer because it's short enough. So that's it for Hayden. He's Henry Margu, and she is a really cutie patootie. Don't you think so? Okay, I'm not gonna lie about this one. This comes in as my second favorite wig of 2018. I can't even, I can't even with this one. If you are a fan of big, layered, almost 1970s hair, thin by Aesthetica Designs is the wig for you. Look at these layers. These layers, are, I, 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 honestly, I do not know how Aesthetica Designs did this. This is like major hair. This is Charlie's Angel's hair. This is like better than Farrah hair. I love her so much that I have two. I have one and a backup. And I have to say, this is the wig that I took to Paris in November. And I, I kind of need to wash her, but she looks just as good dirty as she does clean. The choppiness of the layers, but they're soft and they're so face framing. I can't I mean, look, you can play around with it to have the um, layers closer to your face to hide a plethora of sins as we age. But she's just, I mean, the, pet, the, the wave slash curl pattern on this is stellar. It's absolutely stellar. She is a lace front with a mono top. Um, and I'm not even getting into the caps with any of these wigs because they're basically all the same. All the caps stretch. They all have adjustable straps, some with Velcro, some with the little bra hooks, but they're all basically the same. And this wig cap by Aesthetica is very, very comfortable. The thing that I like about Aesthetica wig caps per se is that they are made to fit a larger head and I got a big head it's to fill all the brains and all that self-importance that I have because it's all about me but anyway thin is a mar marvelous wig I haven't used that word in ages and it is it is a marvel that's how much I love thin the length is great if you are looking for a longer wig but you don't want to go long, long. This is a great mid-length, shoulder-length wig. She's absolutely perfect in every way. And let me tell you something. I wore her in the rain, in the wind, in like all sorts of bizarre weather except for snow when we were over in France. And at the end of the day, when I took her off and just shook her, she just woke up kind of the next morning looking great. I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this is a great travel wig simply because you don't have to do anything to her. You just kind of shake her and you just kind of go. Now this color is caramel kiss. It's one of my favorite colors because it's not blonde and it's not too dark. It's just kind of in the middle. And I think as we age we should really go lighter with our hair, although I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite because I do have quite a few dark wigs simply because my husband loves me in dark hair and um, I'm such a good guy. But for the most part, these colors like the Caramel Kiss, the Henry Moore Goo colors, they're colors that I really, really feel comfortable in. And I think that they're flattering for women of a certain age. So this is Finn. She's dense. She is gorgeous. And she just, she is hands down one of the best 
wigs that came out last year. I swear I am not kidding you. She is absolutely 100% fabulous. Hold on while I come back with another one. Okay, I'm back and this time I have a long bob or, ooh, give me fibers in my mouth, or as I like to refer to it as a lob. Get it? Long bob, lob, okay, yeah. This wig was sent to me from Uniwig's La Vivid, it's part of their La Vivid collection. And the color, let me just adjust that. The color is Ammon's Frost. Now, I love this color, but the funny thing is, it took me a while to warm up to this wig. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. Sometimes we see wigs and on the website or on other people, they look like, oh my God, I need that because it looks so good. But then when you get it home and you try it on out of the box, sometimes you're kind of like, Ooh, did I make a mistake here? Um, how am I going to wear this? I don't know how this looks on me. And that's kind of how I felt when I first put Alice on, simply because there is no permatees in this. Like the, the parting space is great, but this wig has no permatees. And I like kind of big hair. And I thought, like for some reason, I thought this wig was kind of little when I put her on for the first time. But then I decided, you know what? I'm going to shake her out because maybe she's got a little box hair, which she did. So I kind of shook her out. I dirtied her up a little. And now she's turned out to be one of my favorite wigs for 2018. I love the longer bob, but she's not too long. I love the color. Again, this is one of those colors that's blended absolutely beautifully. And I really am starting to dig those colors. If you are older and you don't want to go super dark anymore, but you don't want to go into that gray area. And when I say gray area, I mean gray hair area. Colors like this, like Ammon Frost, Caramel Kiss, um, they're all really good colors for the mature woman because I think they go well with our skin tones as they're changing. But this is really a wonderful, wonderful long bob, especially ladies, if you do not like permatease, because I know that there are so many women that don't like permatease. And to each her own, whether you like permatease or whether you don't. But even if you want to break from permatease and just want something that's not as thick, I think Alice fits the bill perfectly. Um, she's not, how can I put this? She's not thick, but she's still dense enough so that when you turn around and when you're like walking and out and about, none of the wefts show. So as far as density goes, there is a good density, but she is a lighter wig as far as the weight goes, which I also think makes this great for the summer. I think if you have an occasion to go to in the summer, this is a great wig because honey, you are not going to sweat. You're not going to see those beads of sweat falling down. Your head isn't going to feel like it's on fire. It's just a really comfortable and lightweight wig. So I suggest if you're not a permatease lady, if you like something lightweight, if you don't want thickness, but you kind of want a dense enough wig that nobody's going to see the wefts, I think Alice by La Vivid Collection from Muniwigs definitely fits the bill. Time for another one. Okay, here we go. Now, this unit is one of two that are late to the game in um, my 2018 team collection, but I have to tell you, she's one of the two that quickly turned into a favorite, knocking others off my potential list. This is Aesthetica Designs 
Brooklyn. <sighs> She's kind of like Finn's longer, longer layered sister. She's got that density. She's got that thickness. She's got that wonderful wave pattern, but the layers are longer. She is about the same length as Finn. Um, the bottom is slightly choppier. And like right here, you can kind of manipulate these little waves to go under or to even just stick out. I've seen the way a lot of people have styled her and she looks great on everybody. I like this longer side swipe bang area and I like the waves. Now, this is, hold on, I have to look at the box because um, I'm not too with it. Okay, this is R628F and as you can see, there's quite a bit of auburn in this. I love the color blending because, as I said, I don't like a wig with just one color. This is a multi-dimensional color wig, and I absolutely adore this. My husband loves Brooklyn so much. I swear he wants me to walk around in her every day. Um, I think he likes her because he likes when my hair, my bio hair was kind of wild like this but I also think he likes the darker color. Now this is a darker color compared to a lot of the other um, wigs that I have, but she's not so dark that she looks harsh because trust me, she doesn't look harsh at all. But the layering on this, I don't know, can you see? Can you see? The layering on this is really wonderful simply because it's a longer layer. I know a lot of women don't like those short layers. And this works wonderfully if you're looking for something that's slightly longer, but thicker and just like, this is a really dense wig. Um, I think that if you're looking for a wig that's incredibly lightweight, I don't think this is the wig for you. And I'm not saying anything bad about the wig because I think she's a stupendous wig, but we all have different tastes. And I know that there are probably women whose bio hair was very thin to begin with. So they may be more comfortable in a thinner wig. For me, I am the woman with the thick bio hair. So this is absolutely a dream. And I think if you are a woman who has had thick bio hair and has lost it, a wig like Brooklyn is going to make you feel so Good. Now, you can see that I have a very square jawline, so I cannot look at the jowls. And this is a pretty flattering wig for that. I can take the layers and I can bring them closer to the face if I want, or I can even just like put it back behind my ears. What do you think of that? It doesn't look bad. So that's Brooklyn. She has made it to the list of my favorites for 2018. And I think that if you are not looking for that perfectly coiffed head of hair, I also think that Brooklyn is a wonderful, wonderful choice. Okay, on to this. This is the second wig. Hold on, let me move over so you can get a better look because that doorway is kind of dark. Um, this, hold on, here we go. Oops. This is the second wig that I was mentioning that is a latecomer to 2018. But let me tell you something. This is Kendall. And Kendall is from Henry Margot. And I like to think of Kendall as, hold on a second. Oops. Hayden's longer sister. I swear to you, I have been eyeing her for ever and a day. And when the folks at Henry Margot reached out to me to see if I would want to review her, I did the happy dance in the middle of the bathroom. I was so excited. But anyway, this is Kendall. The shade is 626.8. And 
I am blown away just as much by the colors that Henry Mardu has as I am of the wig. I think that the blending is so, so perfect. And it's so natural looking. I mean, come on. This looks like you just went to the hair salon and had your hair frosted or just low lighted or highlighted. It's amazing. And for those of you who want layers, but you don't want like super wavy or super short layers, I think Kendall fits the bill because the layers are longer and they're somewhat of a looser wave, almost like a straight wave, a, like a straight wave, if you will. I do get kind of Rachel vibes from this. Remember the show Friends with Jennifer Aniston? I am in love with Kendall, I swear. She is going to be getting a lot of love for me in 2019 as well. I can't say enough about the color. I am digging this color so much. Again, this is a darker color, but it's not so dark that it looks harsh on the mature woman. And I love the shades because I think that the shades lend themselves well to women that have a cooler um, skin tone rather than a warmer skin tone. Because I think skin tone needs to be taken into consideration when you're wearing a wig as well. Um, for me, I'm fair skinned. Um, with pink undertones, so that puts me more in the cooler shade. I will venture off into warmer shades, um, and I have no problem with that, but I feel better in a cooler shade, and I think Kendall fits that bill, and the length is absolutely wonderful. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm moving around, and I'm shaking the camera. I'm doing some cinema verite here. Anyway, I think this length is gorgeous. You get that look of a long wig without it being too long. And I know that there are a lot of women in my age demographic, I will be hitting the mid 60s in a couple of months, um, who just feel that long, longer hair is not appropriate for our age demographic. I disagree with this entirely. I will wear a longer wig, but I am most comfortable in a wig that is mid-length. I love my bobs and I love my mid-length wigs, and these are where my comfort zone falls. So this is Kendall. I just adore Kendall. I mean, when you get a wig, that you've been eyeing for a long time and she turns out to be everything that you thought she was and more, it's a good hair day. And trust me, there's never gonna be a bad hair day with this baby. So, Kendall, Henry Margu, and I will be back. Don't worry, we're nearing the end, so it's not gonna be that much longer. Remember this shade, R, 1426H. That's R1426H. This is one of my favorite blonde wigs. Can you guess? It's Violet by Aesthetica Designs. Yes, it's another Aesthetica Designs wig. Violet is such a wonderful summer bob because let's face it, in the summer, the weather doesn't work with us. So many of us have natural hair that kind of gets wavy, but it doesn't wave the way that it should. Violet is that wavy wig that waves the way that bio hair should wave. Do you know what I mean? She's incredibly lightweight. I have three violets in various colors. I have two in Caramel Kiss, and then I have this one. But boy, oh boy, during the summer, I wore violet so much because the length is short. It's a short bob. So if you want shorter hair in the summer, this is a great, great wig. And she's lightweight, but dense at the same time. And I think that the fibers in this are great. Aesthetica is another company that really knows 
how to make great hair fibers because nothing's Barbie dollish. I mean, this really looks like you haven't washed your hair in a day or two. And I'm not saying that in a bad way either. I'm saying that in the greatest way possible because even when I had my bio hair, like all of it, I would never wash my hair um, less than more, oh, more than twice a week. I usually washed it only once a week simply because it was so thick and so dry and the dirt didn't show up. So I'm just being honest here, folks. That's one of the reasons why I don't wash my wigs a lot. I'm not going to ruin them by overwashing them. I kind of like when they get a little dirty and um, like a little mussed up because that's just me. I don't want a perfectly cloth do. Um, I compare this slightly to Hayden because both of them are very, very wavy bobs. I think um, Hayden has more of a structured pattern than Violet does. And Violet, I just saw Violet recently um, on one of the wig sites for 40% off, which I thought was great. Um, I'm trying to sneak away to find out how to get one without my husband knowing because he's really cutting down on expenses for 2019. Anyway, this is Violet. Again, another great, cute little sassy short bob. I think she's wonderful. And one thing that I just want to say, when I do wear her, out in, you know, like when I wear her out in public, I'm not going to be wearing, wearing her out in public today because I'm filming videos, but I do make sure that I use a brighter blush and I do use a brighter lip color simply because sometimes the blonde has a tendency to wash me out just slightly. So I will make sure that I have brighter makeup on. So that's it. I am down to my last wig. So Hold on, I know the suspense is killing you. I'll be right back. Okay, last for my favorite wigs of 2018, we have Chloe by Envy Wigs. Now, this was a wig that I had seen many, many times on various wig sites. And from the stock photo, I wasn't crazy. I, I was like, you know, eh, she's okay, she's all right, you know, nothing great, nothing bad, just, you know, she's okay. And then for my birthday last year, my husband got me this wig and I was thrown for a loop because I couldn't believe how much I loved her. Um, the color, chocolate cherry, Took me a little bit, hold on, let me just fix this. It's a little low. I'm changing into these and out of these so quickly. Um, the color is chocolate cherry. It took me a while to warm up to this color. And that's when I was saying before, um, this is more of a warm tones, but it still fits the bill and it still looks good. This is one of those wigs that I happen to wear a lot on date night when we go out because it's one of my husband's favorites. He loves the dark color. And I think Chloe is a really nice, messy, messy bob wig. I do have her in another color, in frosted, and I love the frosted color as well, but I wanted to showcase this color because I think it's important that if you do wear a lot of wigs or if you just like to mix and match, you shouldn't be set to one color wig. I think part of the fun of wearing wigs is the fact that you can interchange color without dyeing the hair that you had or without ruining the hair that you do have if you do have your, all your bio hair and you choose to wear wigs. I think it's fun to play with color. Um, it can throw people off a little, which I think is even better. Um, I just happen to really love this wig. She is very shake and go. I just shake her, 
plopper on my head and I go. Now, the one thing that I'm going to say about the brand NV Wigs, they run snug. And I really, the first time I put this on my head, I was a little scared because I, I was just like, oh my God, my freaking head is so big. How is this thing going to fit? But I just adjusted the straps to, uh, like, I almost cut the straps off, to tell you the truth. And I just adjusted it and worked with it. And over time, the cap did manage to stretch a bit. So that's just one thing that I want to point out about the brand and the wigs. Their wig caps run more average head friendly to smaller head friendly than large head friendly. And I wish that the brand would make a stretchier wig cap because Envy does have some really lovely wigs. And it's a shame that they would be limited to just one smaller size, especially when some of us have really big heads. All that means. But anyway, that is it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I ran a little bit long. I didn't mean for it to be this long. I'm going to be back with a video of my favorite budget wigs for 2018. Um, there's a big difference in the budget wigs and the bridge wigs. With the bridge wigs, you really don't have to manipulate them. There's no lace to cut. Um, I find that there is no tweezing. The only thing that you have to do is kind of like finger style or shake them or comb them into whatever way that you want for these bridge wigs. And that's all that you need to do. Um, I would say that within the price range of Anywhere from 160, which was the cost of the Isla wig by Tony of Beverly, up to maybe 300 tops. I think these wigs all fall into that very affordable area. If you're not going to go into debt and buy maybe one or two of the bridge wigs a year, because I've had this for, I got it last April, it's now January. I've had, I've had this wig for nine months. I've had my first Jameson that I got last January and I still have it. I think if you take really good care of your wigs, you're gonna make them last. You can have them for over a year. Trust me, you can have them for two years. It all depends on how you take care of them. Don't wash them too often. Honestly, do not wash them too often. Try to keep a rotation of um, like bridge wigs and affordable wigs because if you have a decent rotation, that's another way to take care of the wigs that you do have. Um, look for wigs on sale. You would be surprised at great wigs that you can buy on sale. You just have to take the time to research the wig companies, Google the wigs, Google affordable wigs, and you'll be able to find great buys. Um, sometimes you'll get a dud and that's gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie. One of the Jamesons that I purchased from a sale wig site, I was really upset when I received her because it looked like somebody had cut part of like, just like one strand of the hair. Um, for the price that I paid though, I paid under a hundred dollars for her. For the price that I made, I was able to blend that wonky strand or like wonky 10 strands of hair and just blend it in. I wasn't the happiest, but I didn't have to, I, I, didn't have to return her because I refused to pay a restocking fee. I'm not going to do it. Um, so I usually keep what I have and try to make them work. So that's it. I hope that you did enjoy these wigs. And remember, it's all personal preference. My favorite wigs may be your worst wigs. Your worst wigs may be somebody else's favorite wigs. 
It's so subjective, but I just wanted to give you an idea of favorite wigs from a pro aging woman. So if you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Um, if you have comments, please make them about the hair. Don't make them about the quality of my um, video because personally, this video isn't about how pretty I look. It's not about how my makeup is. It's not about the quality of the camera. This is about the wig and or the wigs that I'm showing you. So that's it. Have a great weekend. It is raining here and I am off to film another video. Bye. Have a good one.